Welcome to the ZWO AM5 instructional video. This video will introduce to you the standard operational procedure of our AM5 mount. Shown here is the body of the AM5 equatorial mount and carbon fiber tripod. The carbon fiber tripod comes with a tripod, the lock grip, the triangular spreader plate, a central 3 8 inch tension bolt, stability pegs, the mounting plate, and a weighted bag. The equatorial mount comes with a mount body, a user guide, the PE curve report, the hand controller, the hand controller cable, an M6 hex wrench, and an M4 hex wrench. Mount installation. Adjust the legs until a desired height is reached. Lock the tripod legs and attach the weighted bag. When in muddy, slippery, or otherwise inclement conditions, replace the feet of each tripod leg with the include stability pegs. Attach the head plate. Align the three mounting points on the installation disc to equivalent holes in the main body of the AM5. Insert three M6 hex screws into the holes and use the included M6 hex wrench to assemble. Place the AM5 equatorial mount on the tripod, disable the fastening lock, and screw in the 3 8 inch tension bolt to secure the mount to the tripod. Make sure to install the 3 8 inch tension bolt oriented with a shorter threaded section pointed upwards. Affix the spreader plate and secure it with a 3 8 inch tension bolt to complete the installation. Install the telescope on the dovetail slotted saddle plate. Adjust the latitude scale and azimuth scale as is necessary. Begin polar aligning. Maintain balance during this process and take note of the weight distribution of the telescope to avoid a collapse. Adjust weighted bag as needed. To adjust range, there are two gear knobs located on the mount allowing you to adjust latitude range from 0 degrees to 60 degrees and 45 degrees to 90 degrees respectively. To shift from using one knob to the other, first loosen the tension grips on each side. Rotate the altitude adjustment lever clockwise until it reads 20 degrees in latitude scale. The hex screw should be visible from the openings on each side of the mount at this point. The default state of the AM5 equatorial mount is equatorial mode, and the latitude range should normally be from 0 degrees to 60 degrees. Use the hex wrench to loosen the hex screws on each side of the mount. Lift the mount head up until you see that the two hex screws have shifted to the bottom of the openings. At this point, the latitude scale will read 55 degrees. Continue rotating the lever to set the altitude scale to 45 degrees to 90 degrees. Tighten the tension grips and refasten the hex screws once the procedure is complete. Adjust azimuth scale. Loosen the azimuth lock and rotate the azimuth adjustment knob. Tighten the azimuth lock after adjustments have been completed. Hand Controller Link the hand controller to the AM5's hand controller interface with the included hand controller cable. The joystick can be clicked down as a button. This switches between high speed and low speed tracking. Move the joystick with the corresponding direction and amplitude to obtain the desired tracking speed. Press the tracking button to begin and cancel tracking. Press the cancel button to cancel go to and other functions. Hold down cancel for 3 seconds to reset the mount to zero position. Mobile app control. Inspect the light indicator after the mount is powered on. It is in equatorial mode if the indicator lights up red for the first 5 seconds. It is in azimuth mode if the indicator lights up green for the first 5 seconds. The light indicator will flash red and green after the first 5 seconds if the local time coordinate information has not been synchronized. Unsynchronized mounts are unable to go to targets, nor will certain other features of the AM5 be available for use. Connect the mount to the ASI mount app to automatically synchronize time and coordinates. The ASI mount app is available on the App Store and the Google Play Store. Scanning the QR code on the AM5 Equatorial Mounts packaging will also redirect you to the app's download page. Connect to the mount's Wi-Fi and open up the ASI mount app. Configure the mount to personal specifications with mount settings and target FOV settings. Press the magnifying glass icon in the top left corner of the screen to select targets for capture. The mount will automatically swivel to these targets. View the current status of the mount in our integrated star database, Sky Atlas. Switching between equatorial and azimuth modes. First, power off the mount. Hold down the cancel button to reactivate the mount. To enter azimuth mode, hold down the cancel button while the mount is off until the light indicator turns green. Adjust the latitude range to 90 degrees. To enter equatorial mode, hold down the cancel button while the mount is off and press the power switch button. The light will turn red if done correctly. 